orbiter was backed out of the processing facility in uh, early July, just after the 4th of July holiday. The boosters and external tank were stacked in parallel in the vehicle assembly building while the work was going on in the orbiter processing facility. Once in the transfer aisle, the, the huge overhead crane was connected to the shuttle and the uh, shuttle was hoisted into position as it is here and the work stands placed around the vehicle to allow workers access to complete uh, testing and uh, inspections. Discovery was rolled out to pad 39A on about July 14th. Discovery's last flight was STS-82, which was conducted earlier this year. The countdown demonstration test with the flight crew was conducted just a few weeks ago, and the flight crew was uh, certified in emergency escape procedures. This is the uh, orbiter access arm as it was attached to the vehicle uh, once Discovery rolled to the pad last month, and the rotating service structure was then moved into position around the orbiter to allow the installation of the payloads and also access to various parts of the vehicle for the Kennedy launch team. Payloads were installed into the uh, payload bay out at the launch pad in the vertical position. And the payload bay doors were closed for flight early Tuesday morning uh, during our countdown. Countdown began on time at the T minus 43 hour mark at about uh, 3 p.m. on Monday. Count has been going very smoothly, which leads us up to uh, this morning and our planned liftoff at